Well, hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. And thank you out there for watching on the internet. This is David Wilcock. That's me. We're talking about my new book, The Synchronicity Key, which is a monumental effort of scholarship. It's got over 700 references in it. Actually, not quite 700. It's 680-something. But uh, what we're dealing with here is a comprehensive examination of history and the idea that history is not random. The events that are happening in our reality are scripted and structured intelligently. And this goes back to what I was discussing in my previous book, it's now available in paperback, the source field investigations discussed the idea that we are in a living cosmos, that the universe itself is alive. And so when we think about a concept like that, it fundamentally changes the basic nature of what it means to be human, what it means to be alive. So being human is a galactic phenomenon, and I've been talking a lot about that on my new show on Gaim TV called Wisdom Teachings. Half an hour a week, every week we got a new episode coming out with all kinds of amazing content. The living universe is the idea that mind created the universe, that that's all there is. And that mind has given us life as part of a greater ground state of being. In other words, life is not some random accident that happened only on Earth. Life is a phenomenon that is universal in nature. Organic life is going to appear all throughout the cosmos, anywhere and everywhere that it can. And we are, in fact, divine manifestations. Life did not happen as some random happenstance here on Earth. It has been sent here from cosmic dust that's created from stars. The stars themselves are creating dust that has been tested as bacteria. That's one of the points I mention a lot in the television show and in the new book. So as we are going through these cycles of evolution, we come back to an intrinsic core point, which is that the universe has an agenda. The universe is not just here to let us figure it out on our own. There is a very intelligent structure caused by a super intelligence, actually, that is governing how we evolve here on Earth. In other words, the events that actually happen, the historical events, the wars, the political conspiracies, the conflicts, all the stuff that involves, in many cases, loss of life, those events are not random. There is a structure to history, there is a structure to the events that are happening in our reality, and we are infused by this greater cosmic consciousness. It is fundamentally one with us. The universe ultimately is only identity. It is only awareness. That's all there is. And this idea of a physical universe is a holographic projection of this greater intrinsic consciousness that gave rise to what we now call existence. So with this knowledge comes the opportunity for us to step out of the cycle of war. We don't have to keep repeating the same problems, the same failures. We can start geoengineering entire planets. Some of these moons that might be out there in our own solar system may actually be hollow on the inside and inhabited by other humans like us. That's one of the things that I've heard from insiders who have worked in very high levels of classification secrecy within the United States government and other governments. Why are we not hearing more about this? Why is there a UFO cover-up? Could it be that the potential of the human being is so vast, once our pineal gland is activated, that's one of the big secrets, there is a functional third eye inside your brain. We've talked about that in previous videos. When we get to this pineal activation, is there going to be some sort of transfiguration of the earth and the way that things have been going on earth into a happier and more positive age. Now, I will be suggesting that the events that we're now seeing in the world with the disclosure of surveillance and the revelation of there being a global adversary, this oppositional force, it's no longer a conspiracy theory. I mean, people who have been paying attention have known that it wasn't a conspiracy theory for a long time. But now what's happening is you can't get away from this. Everybody knows it's on all the newspaper headlines. This is a very serious development. It is a turning point, and the cycles of history tell us that. 
they tell us that there are points where empires collapse. There are points where tyranny falls apart. There are points where cover-ups are exposed. And that it is part of that hero's journey archetype where you have to go to the dark night of the soul and you have to seem to think that all of hope is lost, that the goal cannot be achieved, and only then you have the revelation of how to solve the quest, how to face off against the nemesis and achieve victory. And we are now seeing that critical tipping point happening on a global level where people are really freaked out about this stuff, but there is a happy ending that's going to come out of the whole thing. Now, 9-11 was one of the biggest mysteries I wanted to solve. I said, if history is repeating itself, then is there a cycle comparison for 9-11? And I rewound the clock 539 years, and my God, 539 years ago, within six days, there is a corresponding war in Europe called the Battle of Swiceno that was the turning point in a much bigger conflict called the 13 Years War. So this is how it works. This is the cycle science that's all based on this repeating blueprint. And I thought to myself, my gosh, this is such an original discovery. I'm so excited. I broke this through or not. <laughs> so then I go online and I start looking at things and I start looking at Masonic symbols and I realize, my God, they knew that there was a companion star that we're orbiting through that has geometry. Now, if this black sun, which ultimately is not negative, okay, I'm saying this is basic, loving cosmos, celestial mechanics, we're orbiting this geometry, it will change our DNA as we go through it, and it's governing these cycles of time, that energy is driving us through the ascension process. And they probably inherited this, my supposition is, from positive extraterrestrials, and it all got contorted out of control and became something negative. It was never intended to be originally. And again, it all comes back to the idea that the basic pattern that the black sun generates, which is, again, not negative, it's just celestial mechanics, a basic loving cosmos that's pushing us through ascension, generates this pattern, and we come into alignment with it at the end of the cycle. This is the providence of that symbol. This symbol literally shows you the conjunction that happens at the end of 25,000 years, which is encoded into this passage. The great order of ages is born again, and it creates a transmutation, a movement into the light body, which is what this prophecy actually said. So all of this stuff works together very nicely. The conjunctions all fit together, and what we're seeing is that the Merkaba here, this pattern divides up into 12 cycles, we have the bubbles, the close-packed spheres, and it's the same historical events that keep repeating, each cycle being 2,160 years in length, an age of the zodiac. And of course, again, in my book, we show redundant proof that history is moving in 2,160-year cycles. I show an incredible string all the way back to 1897, I believe, where Roman history and U.S. history are just duplicating. They're doing the same thing, two different cycles of the same thing. And then one of the really amazing things at the end of the book is I quote from this Russian scientist, Anatoly Fomenko, and he looks at all the different history going all the way back to the Sumerians in almost every recorded form of history on Earth and shows that they're all doing this. It's everything. Nothing has been left out. They're all cyclical. This cosmic energy is activating our DNA. It's transforming who we are as people. It's transforming what it means to be human. History is repeating in even cycles of time. And as it does, events keep repeating, guiding us through an intelligent blueprint of human evolution. We are seeing these events teaching us how to become more loving. The wars and atrocities do not need to keep repeating. They will be fulfilling this prophecy that we will ascend, that we will be transformed as we move through this energetic change in our solar system. It's all coming to a head right now in the year 2013, now that we're at the end of the Mayan calendar, all of these things are now being revealed to us. The positive energy is transforming the world. And so I encourage you to check out my new book, The Synchronicity Key. It's available all over the place, Amazon, everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. 
and have a good time. Thank you.